Hi guys. I'm here on Niger Diaries. I absolutely promise. Promise to say the truth. And nothing but truth. There's nothing wrong with that. So you don't kill me. <laughs> marriage is not compulsory. In marriage, kindness is more important than love. Aww. Love fades, love. Sometimes you just don't feel the love as much because love is a feeling. But when you marry a kind person, a kind person is always going to be a kind person. That's who you are, you can't change it. People are going to hate me for this, but I'm going to say it, I'm sorry. The curve of marriage in our time is weird. And that's why I think marriages don't last. But I have an old school concept of marriage whereby I believe in hierarchy. So someone has to be in charge of the relationship and someone has to be subordinate. You might not, have to, you might not like it, but that's just the way it is. Right? It's a cool thing if you can really stick to the original meaning of it. If not, then there's no need because with the kind of um, thing that people are saying today, just stay single. I don't think it's for everybody and I don't think everyone, anyone should be forced into it if it's not something they're interested in. Can you play like me? You don't need to get married, you know? One doesn't necessarily have to have kids the traditional way, uh, vaginal birth, if someone possibly can't have it that way and is doing a C-section, it's crazy how I, I found out recently that people are still discriminating those or, you know, giving them a hard time, like, oh my God, you didn't give birth naturally? Like, oh, how was it? Nah. And if someone wants to have their babies through surrogacy, <laughs> number one, myself. <laughs> Just do it for yourself. Your parents have come, they've lived, they had their own life, but are you, are you, I think you are hearing the price of petrol outside, the cost of school fees, the crowd is shouting, school fees is screaming. How are you going to pay for two children? Or four, or eight, when you actually didn't want to have any in the beginning, so yes. Childbirth and marriage and the whole shebang, it's kind of overrated. I think everyone should have kids. I think not having kids is doing injustice to your ancestors and everybody that brought you here. I think you should reproduce and continue the whole cycle of life. If doctors could find a way to ensure that I have no contact with this, you know, nine month situation until it is done, I really would prefer it largely. So yes, I'm not one of those people who say, you know what, I want to go through the joys of pregnancy in snow media. If I can afford surrogacy, I would definitely go through that. It is okay for a woman to admire you, men, Get comfortable with it. It is okay for a woman to tell you, I want X, Y, Z with you. It doesn't make her a prostitute. It doesn't make her a, 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 a harlot or a whore. It doesn't make her all that. It just, it just makes her a woman that knows what she wants. I think sex is more spiritual than we have been rolling these days because everybody is woke. And my advice to anyone watching right now, just in case you haven't tapped into that phase of your life, I think it's, if it's possible, you can wait because you might not remember all your sex and everything is not going to be awesome. You might be thinking, oh, let's get it on, you know, but you will not remember that let's get it on in 15 years from now if it's not with the right person. And it's okay to have lots of sex if you find someone <laughs> that is worth your body and makes you feel good. Sex cannot be complete without foreplay. Just don't come and choke in a needle. And I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I'm speaking on behalf of all the ladies. There's something called foreplay. You just don't open the door. You use the knob, you shut the door back. It'll be nice and sweet. But if you can't wait, please do. You see this thing y'all are saying about, oh, we have to test the goods before we get in there. Side eye, bombastic side eye, <laughs> please. The truth is that if two people that have no experience whatsoever with sex come together, they're gonna figure it out. The animals that have sex you see on the road, did somebody teach them? Please show me where they are doing their webinar, you know? <laughs> Honey, you can get into marriage without exactly testing the goods. Celibacy is fine, virginity is fine. People that are celibate and are virgins are not unicorns. So there ain't nothing wrong with them. Stop all this, I want to test the goods. You know what you're doing, you know what you're doing. Sex is deep. Contrary to popular opinion that sex is just, I don't know, sex. I think, I think it's something 
kind of deep and I don't know, it's not just sex, really. I think that that Christian she cut people some slack. Many people want to know God and stuff, but because of church art, they hold back. People should let Christians be Christians. Everybody has their personal relationship to God. Don't judge people. Everybody's God is the same. We just have different names, different histories, different backgrounds. So we need to calm down and share more love. Let's be kind to one another. Not that you'll be preaching today and maltreating your sister's daughter tomorrow. We need to spread more love, and that's the real religion all over the world. No matter where you are, no matter what you look like, and no matter the name you call your God. Um, restaurants in Lagos, my popular opinion, people should just eat in their house. Their food is not all that. I've been, I've been privileged to go to some, I guess, high-end places. You're paying at least the 100K or something or upwards. Let me know that I'm eating a 100K worth of food or in taste, even if it's not in quantity, in taste. Where's the taste profile? Yam is trash. Okay, so if you like yam, why? I mean, why? Why really do you like yam? Peeling it is stressful. You, your hands will not be itching the entire day. You don't enjoy the food. Eating boiled yam is like a workout. How is it passing your throat? Constipated for four days? Why? No. I don't subscribe. Oh, yes, yes. Everyone thinks I'm a crackhead. Oh, I mean, because I am effervescent in nature, flamboyant quirky, unconventional, abstract in my thinking. And of course, my clothes is not the usual. Everyone thinks I'm a little, I don't smoke and I don't drink. Thank you very much. And I don't have to be a crackhead to be this expressive. My expressiveness is my individuality. And I, my clothes are an extension of my personality. With me, what you see is what you get. I don't need to answer your question, but hey, baby, take it like that. I just want to say the truth. And I just spoke my truth. Keep watching.